Hello flutists, my name is Victoria and today I'm going to be helping you learn Alouetta, which translates to Song of the Little Bird in French. So, the way this is going to work is I'm going to teach you this two bars at a time. I'm going to help you with the rhythm and the fingering and I'm going to play it once so you can hear it. Then you can pause and learn it on your own and come back and I'll play it once more so you can play along with me. And then we'll move on to the next two bars and so on and so forth. First though, let's look at the key signature. If you look at the key signature on your music, you'll notice that there are B flats and E flats in this. Meaning, if you go through, every B and E you see are going to be flat. Next, let's look at the time signature. The time signature in this is 4-4, four, four, meaning there are going to be four beats in every measure. All right, let's get started. The first note we have is a half note E flat. The way you play an E flat is you have this thumb lever down, then you put down your middle finger and your ring finger on your left hand, and then all of the fingers on your right hand, including your pinky. Don't forget that pinky. So that's two beats. Then we have a quarter note rest, which means a one beat rest, and then a quarter note F. To go from an E flat to an F, here's our E flat. We put down our pointer finger and we lift up our middle and ring fingers on our right hand. So it goes like this. Practice that a few times. So that's one beat. And then the second measure, we have two half note Gs. Each of those gets two beats. So to go from an F to a G, all we do, this one's really easy, is from, is from the F, lift up our pointer finger so that we play the G. So let me play this for you. One, two, ready? Go ahead and pause and come back whenever you're ready and we'll play this one time together. I will count you in and be sure to take a nice big breath before you play. One, two, ready. Awesome. Then measures three and four. The first note we have is a quarter note F, which is played like this. Then we go to a quarter note E flat, back to a quarter note F, and then back to a quarter note G. So review those fingerings, F, E flat, F, G. And our thumb is down the entire time during those. Then in the fourth bar, we have a half note E flat. So we play back our E flat again. And then we have a half note B flat, which we haven't played in this. So make sure you're fingering it like this. Uh, your back lever on your thumb, your pointer finger on your left hand, your pointer finger on your right hand, and your pinky on your right hand. So here's how it's supposed to sound. One, two, ready. All right, pause and come back so we can play it together. One, two, ready. Great. Now bars five and six. You have a dotted half note E flat. That note gets three beats. So make sure you count it and play it for the full three beats. So you have your E flat. And then you have a quarter note F. And then in the sixth bar, you have two half note Gs again. So here's how it's supposed to sound. One, two, ready. <laughs> Awesome. Now let's play it together. One, two, ready. Great. If you've noticed, these two bars are very similar to the first two bars. Now moving on to the second line in bars seven and eight. First note is a quarter note F followed by a quarter note E flat, quarter note F, quarter note G, and then a whole note E flat. So that gets the full measure. And I want you to try to play that whole note for the entire measure. 
here's how it's supposed to sound. One, two, ready? <laughs> Notice how I played that whole note for four full beats. I want you to try that. Let's play it together. One, two, ready? Great. Now, bars nine and ten. First, we start off with an E flat quarter note, followed by an F quarter note, a G quarter note, and then A flat, which we haven't played in this yet. So to get from G to A flat, all you have to do is put down your pinky on your left hand. So this golf club key, as I like to call it. And that's also a quarter note. And then in the next bar, you have two quarter note B flat. So B flat, this upper B flat is fingered the same as the lower B flat we learned. So Thumb lever, pointer finger, pointer finger, pinky. And you play B flat, B flat, and then a half note B flat. So bars nine and 10 sound like this. One, two, ready? All right, pause and come back so we can play it together. One, two, ready? Awesome. Next two bars, 11 and 12. B flat, C, which we also haven't played yet. So to get from B flat to C, you're going to lift up your thumb on the back and lift up this pointer finger. So it's going to go, you're going to be lifting up these two fingers. That's also a quarter note. Then back to B flat, back to A flat and then back to G, all right? And then the next note, so you have a G quarter note, F quarter note, and then E flat half note. And this sounds like this. One, two, ready? All right, pause it. And whenever you're ready, let's play it together. One, two, ready? Great. Now let's go on to the third line, bars 13 and 14. So we have um, two quarter note B flats and a half note B flat. And then we drop down to the lower B flat and we have two quarter note B flats followed by a half note B flat. So it's all the same fingering, which is really great. So this is how it's supposed to sound. One, two, ready? Pause. Let's play it together. Ready? Awesome. And now, bars 15 and 16 are exactly the same. So let's just play these together. Bars 15 and 16 together. One, two, ready? Great, we already learned that. Next two bars, so then we have bars 17 and 18. So the first note is a whole note B flat. So you make sure you hold that out for four beats. Then in the second bar we have a half note, or dotted half note, excuse me, dotted half note E flat, which means you get three beats, followed by a quarter note F. So it's B flat, E flat, F. Pause if you need to, and then let's play it. One, two, ready? Awesome. Next two bars. So this is the last measure in the third line and the first measure in the very last line. Bars 19 and 20. In bar 19, we have two half note Gs. And then in bar 20, we have a quarter note F, quarter note F, 
quarter note E flat, quarter note F, and a quarter note G. Great, here's how it sounds. One, two, ready? Awesome, pause if you need to. And now let's play it together. One, two, ready? Great. Now, next two bars, 21 and 22. So your first note is a half note E flat, followed by a half note B flat, and then we have a dotted half note E flat, three beats, don't forget, and then a quarter note F. So this is what it sounds like. One, two, ready? <gasps> Great. Now, I think we're just going to play the last three bars all at once. So in that first bar, we have two half note Gs. So half note, half note, and then we have F quarter note, E flat quarter note, F quarter note, G quarter note, and then E flat whole note as your last note. So G, G, F, E flat, F, G, E flat. All right, here's what it sounds like. One, two, ready? Great, pause, learn it, and come back, and we'll play these last three bars together. One, two, ready? Awesome. So now I'm going to go through and play the first two lines for you at a nice, easy tempo. So feel free to listen, pause, and go back and play with me, whatever you would like. One, two, ready? play for you the last two lines. One, two, ready? you've learned it, I want you to go back and try to make it a little better. Ask yourself, are you breathing in between every note? Make sure that you're not and that you're using your tongue saying two, two, two to help you produce the notes, which is really important. Um, and then as you go on, try to take fewer breaths. Sometimes I would take breaths every two measures. But the goal is to only take breaths every four measures so that you have a nice phrase. For example, if I play starting in bar five, I want to make a four bar phrase. One, two, ready? <laughs> So I only took one breath for all those four bars. So go through and try to take fewer breaths in general. Well, thank you for joining me and letting me teach you Alouette, and I hope you have great success with it. Bye-bye.